In their book Think Like a Freak, Stephen Levitt and Stephen Dubner encourage readers to challenge conventional wisdom and think unconventionally. By doing so, they argue that readers can unlock their creativity and find new solutions to problems. One of the key lessons of the book is the importance of digging deeper to find out how things really work. Often, conventional wisdom offers only surface-level explanations that may not be entirely accurate. By looking beyond these explanations and questioning assumptions, readers can gain a deeper understanding of the world and the problems they face. Another important lesson from the book is the value of being willing to take risks and try new things. The authors argue that failure is often a necessary step on the path to success, and that those who are willing to take risks are more likely to achieve great things. Throughout the book, Levitt and Dubner use real-world examples to illustrate their points. These examples include everything from magic tricks to hot dog eating championships, and are designed to help readers understand how unconventional thinking can lead to unexpected outcomes. Overall, Think Like a Freak is a valuable resource for anyone who wants to unlock their creativity and challenge conventional wisdom. By teaching readers to think differently, the book can help them find new solutions to old problems and achieve success in their personal and professional lives. Idea 1. The Power of Evidence-Based Thinking Conventional beliefs often guide us when solving problems. However, these beliefs are often flawed, leading to misguided decisions. The local food movement is an example of conventional wisdom that is flawed, as it has been found to be counterproductive. Thinking like a freak involves basing beliefs and decisions on statistical evidence, rather than conventional wisdom. This approach can be useful in problem solving, as it allows for a deeper understanding of the issue at hand. For instance, in soccer, penalty takers can increase their chances of scoring by aiming for the center of the goal rather than the corners. This is because goalkeepers often jump to one side or the other, leaving the center of the goal unguarded. However, thinking like a freak may also come with social consequences. Going against conventional beliefs may not be popular, as seen in the low percentage of penalties aimed towards the center in professional soccer. Despite potential social risks, evidence-based thinking is a powerful tool for solving problems and making better decisions. It challenges us to question conventional wisdom and rely on data and evidence instead. By doing so, we can make more informed decisions that lead to better outcomes. Idea 2. The Advantages of Admitting What You Don't Know Admitting that we don't know something can be difficult, but pretending to know something we don't can lead to negative consequences. Overconfidence can lead us to make mistakes, misjudge situations, and make poor decisions. People often fake knowledge because they want to appear intelligent, but this can be counterproductive. One of the advantages of admitting ignorance is that it can increase our credibility. By owning up to our lack of knowledge, we show others that we are honest and trustworthy. This can make others more likely to believe us when we claim that we do know something. Another benefit of admitting what we don't know is that it keeps us humble and open to learning. By recognizing what we don't yet understand, we can seek out new information and insights to help us figure out the truth. It's important to note that even experts can struggle to admit when they don't know something. In some cases, they may even bluff their way through a situation, which can be dangerous if they make poor decisions based on incomplete or incorrect information. When it comes to making decisions based on expert predictions, it's important to remember that even the most knowledgeable individuals can make mistakes. Studies have shown that experts are not always accurate in their predictions and may be motivated to fake knowledge in order to appear more credible. Overall, it's important to be honest about what we know and what we don't. By doing so, we can increase our credibility, stay humble, and continue to learn and grow. Idea 3. Finding Effective Solutions to Problems When we rely solely on the media's focus to shape our opinions on a problem, we may overlook other relevant factors that could lead us to effective solutions. This is because the media's focus tends to shape public discourse and overlook other fruitful approaches. For instance, in the American education crisis, the discussion is centered on the schooling system, teachers' skills, and class size. While these areas are important, studies show that parenting plays a more significant role in a child's academic performance. Thus, 
we should focus on questions like what children have learned from their parents and whether they have developed an appetite for learning. By shifting our attention to these areas, we can identify other aspects of the situation and arrive at effective solutions. Another way to find effective solutions is by redefining the problem. When Kobe, a slim Japanese student, entered the world's biggest hot dog eating competition, he redefined the problem from, how can I eat more, to, how do I make hot dogs easier to eat? By doing so, he invented new techniques such as dunking the buns in water and eating them separately from the sausages, which led to his victory. In conclusion, we should look beyond the media's focus and redefine problems to find effective solutions. By doing so, we can arrive at more innovative and practical solutions that address the root cause of a problem. Idea 4. Thinking outside the box, how to find the root cause of a problem. Finding the root cause of a problem is crucial in solving it, but it can be challenging. One approach that can be particularly helpful is to think outside the box. This means looking beyond the obvious and considering unusual or unexpected factors that may be contributing to the problem. An example of this approach is Levitt and Dubner's analysis of the dramatic fall in violent crime since the 1990s. By looking at statistical data, they found that factors such as increased police presence did not account for the drop as a whole. However, by thinking outside the box, Levitt recalled a statistic about the dramatic increase in abortions after its nationwide legalization in the 1970s. After some statistical analysis, he found that this was related to the drop in crime, as it led to fewer children growing up in difficult circumstances that often lead to criminality. Another important aspect of finding the root cause of a problem is avoiding mistaking symptoms for causes. Poverty and famine, for example, are often thought to be caused by a lack of money and food. However, despite constant efforts by aid groups and governments to allocate money and food to poor regions, the problem persists. This is because poverty and famine are actually symptoms of deeper problems, such as an absence of a workable economy and credible political, social, and legal institutions. In conclusion, thinking outside the box and avoiding mistaking symptoms for causes are important strategies to find the root cause of a problem. By employing these strategies, we can identify unusual or unexpected factors that may be contributing to the problem and focus our efforts on addressing the underlying causes rather than just treating the symptoms. Idea 5. Thinking like a child. The advantages of curiosity and fun. Thinking like a child may seem counterintuitive to many adults, but it can actually be an advantageous mindset when it comes to problem solving and creativity. Children are naturally curious, and their ability to view the world from different angles often leads them to notice things that adults overlook. This is particularly relevant when it comes to magic tricks, as children are more difficult to deceive due to their natural curiosity. Furthermore, having fun and engaging in what you're doing is essential for success. When you enjoy your work, you're more likely to want to do more of it, and research shows that engagement is the best predictor for future success. Another important trait of thinking like a child is confronting the obvious and asking questions that others usually don't. This can lead to surprising insights, as was the case with the discovery of the link between the legalization of abortion and the drop in violent crime in the 1990s. By being in touch with their inner child, individuals are more likely to respond to statistical spikes with wonder and curiosity, leading to new discoveries and solutions. Idea 6. Incentives and Behavior Understanding the key to problem solving. Understanding how incentives direct our behavior is crucial to solving problems effectively. Incentives are the things that motivate us to take action, and they can be powerful tools for change. Research has shown that incentives such as protecting the environment, benefiting society, and saving money can all be effective motivators for conserving energy. However, sometimes the incentive that works best in practice may be different from what we expect. For instance, a study found that the herd mentality incentive, or the idea that others are doing it, was the most effective motivator for energy conservation, even though it was ranked as the least important factor in a survey. This highlights the importance of understanding how incentives work in practice, rather than relying solely on what people say they will respond to. It also shows that incentives can be used in different ways to change behavior. For example, Rather than shaming individuals for not conserving energy, 
A more effective approach may be to appeal to their desire to be part of a larger group that is working towards a common goal. Ultimately, understanding incentives and how they impact behavior can lead to more effective problem-solving strategies. Idea 7. The Art of Distinguishing Truth from Lies In order to determine whether someone is being truthful or deceitful, certain strategies can be employed. These strategies involve offering incentives to individuals that elicit different responses from those who are honest versus those who are not. One example of this strategy is faking cruelty. In the biblical story of King Solomon, he proposed dividing a child in two to reveal the true mother, who would be willing to give up her claim in order to save the baby. Similarly, the rock band Van Halen used a seemingly frivolous demand for M&Ms without brown ones as a way to test whether promoters had read all their safety instructions thoroughly. By offering an incentive that only honest individuals would respond positively to, one can distinguish between those who are trustworthy and those who are not. In doing so, this strategy can help to identify individuals who may be lying or cheating in a given situation, and ultimately lead to more successful outcomes. Idea 8. The Art of Persuasion, Acknowledge, Respect, and Tell a Story Persuasion is difficult because people tend to ignore facts that don't fit their worldview. For instance, even though the vast majority of climate scientists believe that global warming will probably lead to worrisome changes for our environment, the American public is not very concerned. Researchers from the Cultural Cognition Project conducted a study and found that scientifically literate people were actually more likely to hold an extreme opinion on climate change. Therefore, persuading someone is not easy. But, to begin with, you need to get them to listen. This means respecting their point of view and then telling them a story. Since people tend to be overconfident in their own views and mistrust opposing ones, it's best not to pretend that your argument is watertight. Instead, acknowledge the strengths of your opponent's argument and explain how you still arrived at the opposite point of view. Moreover, catchy stories are often the best tool to prove your point. Stories are simply harder to ignore and forget than abstract details. Therefore, to persuade someone, you should try to tell a story that will captivate their attention and make them remember your point. Idea 9. The Benefits of Quitting. How Thinking Like a Freak Can Make You Happier. When it comes to problem solving, it can be beneficial to think like a freak, to challenge conventional wisdom and be open to new approaches. However, this mindset can also bring benefits to our happiness. Often, the conventional advice we receive about happiness can actually be counterproductive. For example, the popular saying, a winner never quits, and a quitter never wins, can be harmful when applied to all situations. In reality, Quitting can sometimes be the best decision for our well-being. However, social pressure, sunk costs, and the fear of missing out can make it difficult for us to recognize this. By letting go of this conventional wisdom and being open to quitting in certain situations, we can allow ourselves to become happier. In fact, studies have shown that two major decisions to quit, breaking up with a partner and quitting a job, have left people feeling happier. Of course, this doesn't mean that quitting everything will automatically lead to happiness. But by being open to the possibility of quitting in situations where it would be beneficial, we can lead more fulfilling and happier lives. Summary. When it comes to problem solving, conventional wisdom may not always be the best guide. Sometimes, it takes thinking outside the box and challenging popular dogmas to uncover innovative solutions. This is where learning how to think like a freak can be incredibly helpful. Thinking like a freak means adopting a curious and unconventional approach to problem solving. It involves questioning assumptions and looking for hidden patterns and connections. By doing so, you can gain a deeper understanding of complex issues and develop effective solutions that others may not have considered. To cultivate a freakish mindset, it's important to cultivate curiosity and an open mind. This means being willing to ask questions and explore different perspectives, even if they challenge your own beliefs. It also means being comfortable with uncertainty and embracing trial and error as a necessary part of the problem-solving process. Another key ingredient of thinking like a freak is creativity. This means being willing to experiment and try new things, even if they seem unconventional or risky. By thinking outside the box and exploring new possibilities, 
you can uncover innovative solutions that others may have overlooked. In summary, thinking like a freak can be a powerful tool for problem solving. By challenging conventional wisdom, embracing curiosity, and cultivating creativity, you can gain a deeper understanding of complex issues and develop effective solutions that others may not have considered. Now, thank you for taking the time to watch, and if you found value in this video, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. And in case you want to buy the book, use the link in the description. Trust me, you won't regret it.